Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Damian Black here playing the exact same list, which is why you didn't get an opening. Uh, we are not playing first, but we... Hmm. Yeah, why not? I feel I feel like this could be greedy enough. I mean, everything online seems to be uh, one-trick ponies and things that win automatically or bust. So, I mean, maybe I should adapt to that. It seems like it'd be a good thing. Carolyn's just leaving. No, <laughs> no, she's got to go to work. So, yeah. Bye, America. Bye, America. More people watch this than just Americans, sweetie. Bye, people are here. Bye, people are here. There you go. Um, hmm. So, let's see, let's see. I'm going to intro off with... Oh, I didn't even realize they had to stop. Um, I should have probably thought this out a little bit. I'm a little tired today, so we're going to start off here. We're probably going to go into Bob immediately, just because I think this is a sneak show, and even... Oh, I may be wrong. Hmm. I thought it was sneak show. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, so we're looking more at Canadian Thrush, then? Yeah, Canadian Thrush. That's the deck. Um... So what, were they keeping up Stifle then? Hmm. If this is their creature, I'm just going to go ahead and find out if he's got Stifle. I'm okay with him burning that. Like, this is a threat right now. Oh my, it didn't have Stifle? Sure. We got tons of mana. He's probably going to let this go because, oh, if I was him, I would have let it go. Oh, well. I guess he's not going to let that go. Uh, so let's see. He's got his two cards to be able to shoot anything. We're going to give him this to shoot. Um, keep your weight up. Hey, look, that's what I was going to fetch. Good thing we got it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go to take out that red land. That way he can't shoot. He'll have to make that decision now. If he's got the stifle, he's got the stifle. There's not much that we can really do about that. The interesting thing would be if he like dazed this and then paid for it. Like, oh yay! Okay, his brainstorm is done. His land is gone, and we're gonna put this little guy down. Probably should have been this guy to start with. Uh, he's almost absolutely worthless in this matchup. And typically, you don't really have to worry about that guy. Um, wish I could deal with his graveyard right now. Or at least draw a kill spell. That'd be awesome. Any kill spell will do. So he's pondering. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Probably not, but that's okay. Alright. Oh, yay, more bobs. Uh, we're going to get in, and then we'll play a land and do stuff. I don't think there's an instant speed blue creature for one, but there may be. Okay, so here's his burn. Bang. Bang, bang. Yep. We can just get rid of that. We know he's exiling stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fetch here. Mainly because he's not really done anything of interest, and we have stuff that we want to do. Got to start getting that graveyard down, if you know what I mean. And let's see, our graveyard is creatures. He's got instant sorcery and land. There's a Delver. A little guy. Huh. So we have to race that thing. Yep, two more. So Goyf would be a 3-4. That's what I'm keeping tabs on, if you're wondering. The little guy over there, the Goyf thingy, that would be a 3-4. Uh, slight annoyance. Get him! We have the extra land. Depending on what happens here, uh, I'm assuming he's got a spell pierce in hand is the thing. And not a force of will. Not a spell. Wasn't a spell. All the time in the world. Uh, if he's attacking with everybody, 
I feel like it's safe to just let this come through then. Yep, there's Bolt. I thought it was safe. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what we're up against over there. I could have tried to force this through, but I'm pretty sure there's a Spell Pierce or a Daze. So, yeah. And once we've got this down, he's going to be in a really tough spot. Oh my. Apparently his hand was super awesome. Good thing we led with that, because this definitely wouldn't have made it. Um, let's see. Still instant land sorcery. There's a stifle. That's annoying. That means I have to do this twice. We'll see if he freaks out. All right, look at that one. That big mother Hubbard. Okay, so what do we got here? We got this Goyf. We know he's got a stifle in hand. So we need to get this down now. And then next turn we can swing with it. That'll recover the life lost from the Goyf. What are we going down to? This is 8, 10. A bolt would kill us. A wasteland. Yeah, that's too late for that one, buddy. If you don't have the bolt... Okay, so two cards in hand. And one of them needs to be red. Yep. Alright, so... First we come across like this. Good thing that this isn't a uh, triggered ability anymore. Ooh. Alright, so... Yeah. Pop that one down there. Bang, bang, bang. This guy should be big enough to survive a bolt. Yep. Uh, we'll start forcing that... We'll force a stipe out of his hand in the attempt to just move it over here. Uh, he can't deal with me gaining 10 life, so... This should be pretty much game at this point. I mean, we're, we're losing still, essentially, but... He's got a lot of work that he's going to have to do in order to make things go. Uh, he can't swing this Goyf this time, which means that if I do get to move this over here, it's game over. And once I do that, I'll be able to swing for 10, and then at end of turn... I'll be able to, uh... Yep. So far, so good. Ah! You are not... Oh, he dazed it. I'm... Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Good job he thought that out. Um. That was awesome, by the way. Yeah, he dazed it so he could get the extra second red mana, so he could pay for it. Yeah, that was a very good job. Um, I guess we should have blocked the Goyf, but we didn't know what... Eh, that, there was no reason for me not to have blocked the Goyf. Oh, well. Not blocking the Goyf cost me the game. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, he's probably bringing in grudges and whatnot. And this is a matchup where I do want those. I'll leave one of those in... Uh, Man, this sideboard got crappy in comparison. I was intending to actually switch these out, but I didn't make it with enough time to do that. I was going to turn these into the decays that I was talking about the last time. That's why we're playing with the exact same list. Uh, you're going to be pretty bad as well. Let's see, let's see. He's only got a couple creatures. That's why I'm actually thinking about this. Um, but I think that the hymns may actually be better. We know that he's going to be going for submerges. I'll take the life gain, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Because the creature count that I'm looking at is probably 12. This'll, this'll work. No, this won't work. That will work. That can get out of there. It's just kind of like a toss-up at this point. Like, what exactly do we do? 
I think I'm actually going to get rid of the top and bring in the two charms. That'll give us another way to kill off smaller creatures, and even though his deck isn't all smaller creatures, maybe it'll do something. Alright, so we have stuff. Would I like to mulligan to six cards? You know, I should, but no. This hand isn't the worst. So, I'm actually going to start off with this and this one. Let's take a look at what we're up against. Do you have it? Alright. Force of Will pitching Stifle. I should fetch right now. I'm going to hold off on that. I don't know if you guys have ever played the Stifle game, but it's a very interesting game. This gives him the option to not play anything on turn one. Okay, he still opted to. Never mind. Well, we're going to deal with that and the land. And I'm actually going to get a Bayou to try and trick him into... Oh, wait. Cancel. We don't want to actually play into the days. To trick him into wasting us. All creatures get minus one, minus one. We're going to go black and green. We have days mana. We have a way to kill that. Should have probably just done that up front. Alright. So he's back from outer space. Alright. That's fine. Um, still just going to do this one. And the reason we're plopping the Shaman out there is because if he's got a Bolt, he's got a Bloat on that. We're hoping to draw another land that will give us the mana to fight against Daze. We are we're on the play, which is, uh, and there's a post-sideboard game. There's a good chance that the Daze has actually came out of the deck. So, just be aware. Ooh. Not only did he have it, he had all of it. But guess what? I got more. I got more. Uh, this time I'm going to again fetch a non-basic. Should have fetched another Bayou. That's okay. Should have fetched the Bayou. That way there was a green card. Let's go get this one. Hopefully he doesn't assume that we have a uh, a way to deal with something on his end. Uh, can't think of the word. Yeah, I can't think of the word. Okay, so he's got to search for a land. Hopefully he doesn't think that we have this card. There we go. Alright, there's another wasteland. Yep. You know, it just gets harder and harder. Green Sun Zenith. Oh, nope, it's in the yard. So, yeah. Um, we're going to just bash in like this. We don't have a Zenith target until th we get to 3 mana, so... Yeah, that's something to actually realize and lament over. There's a Delver. Come on. That's a Decay. Dun, 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 dun. Fetching Basics would have dealt with that, but he'd have... Well, I guess he'd only have a little bit of mana. We should, in theory, find a land before... Ooh, that's bad. Ouch. That's going to get played now. Oh, no. There's a Savannah. Um. Nope, nope, nope. Stop that. I actually just want to perform this action. The reason I want to do this now is because he could have that stifle. And that would seriously suck. Um. And then from here, hopefully we'll be able to decay one and win outright from there. Delver didn't flip. Crap. I got a feeling this is going to get ugly. Yep. Okay, so he doesn't have the uh, the blasting thingy. The whoop whoop. We do, however, have a forest, which is not what I wanted. Um... Get in there. Let's find out if he's got it. I know I could have played that thing and got in for more, but... Okay, so he really doesn't have it. I am... Going to take this stop away. And... 
I have to assume that he's got the answer for this, but, I mean, I'll let it go. When one of these flips, I'll decay. Do not have a nature's claim. That would be really annoying. All right, nothing there. There's a goif. He's a little bit too big to deal with, but we're going to have an answer for that. Next turn, we'll play the other guy and get in for six. Thinking about fetching? What you got? Not in the greatest position, and he could just weasel at another one like the last time. That was awesome, by the way. There we go, decay. The one of... <laughs> So yeah, I made it to this event and was close to, if not, the last one into it. So, yeah. That was a thing. Uh, is that last card a daze? It's a spell snare. Wow! Well, Jit's going to come down and we'll be able to play it next turn. If he swings with both, we're going to land the JIT, most likely. We're both digging off the top here. And if I can land the JIT and equip the JIT, I should be able to, in theory, win. In theory. Uh, as long as his Delver's not flipping, that's giving us a good, good thing. Uh, a goose. The goose is loose. That's a library, though. And that's live. Um, so we can trade both of those. I think this is a good trade right now just for the simple fact that we have a library. And we should be able to find removal. Yep, that's fine. Three and one, yeah. So we should be able to find at least some way to deal with this and be completely live and ahead of the game from there. That's my thinking. See? Yes, always. Uh, I am going to keep one of these cards, though. One of these lands. And I think it's going to be the Wasteland. Alright. And the reason I kept that is simply for the fact that if he drew Spell Pierce... I can now pay for Spell Pierce. I'll take that 4 damage to ensure that I don't take continuous string of damage. And I'm going to find out if he did. Next turn I can go get something. So, And by something, I think the only creature that I have to get is another Strangergeist. Which admittedly a Goyf would be better. But at least these are down here now. Um, he's still got two cards in hand, or one card in hand. Is it my turn, or his turn? His turn now. Okay. I was like, I thought I have six. Brainstorm, that's a good card. I'm just going to have six on my turn. Um, if we get to five mana, this becomes another option again. A goose. Alright, so this is where Strangerootgeist is going to be definitely worse than Goyf. I'm just going to keep the land. Neither of those look interesting to me. But I can get a Knight of the Reliquary now. Bang, 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 bang! Okay. Alright, so big guns on the table. Any land uh, equips over here. As, yeah, as long as he didn't have a Submerge. And those would have been our looks next time. So there was a land... We'd have been able to equip and get in for 12, forcing the blocks. All right. Next game. He's going to bring the dazes back in. Uh, I still like Timely. Even though most of his forces fly, it's 6 life, which offsets 2 delvers. But on the draw, I think that may be a little bit too slow. Um, Yeah, looking at this, this guy's our only 2 drop. We may want to diversify that. That's definitely going to be something. We'll, we'll adjust the deck after this. Let's see. 
If I bring in two of you and move you over. Actually, let's leave that and we'll move you over. And we'll pull we'll pull both of these out and leave the timely in. I know Thalia is an awkward decision. Let's bring a third one. But the deck his deck doesn't run a lot of mana. It does have, however, I don't know if that's right. I think that's wrong. I just feel that's wrong. Um, Teague shuts down Submerge. It's got two cards of ours that it'll shut down. It'll shut down his Force of Wills as well. Let's go ahead and pull this back in. Oh no, I don't want to be wasting mana doing that. That's the thing. I don't really have enough time to tinker around with that. You're too small. You two are pretty much the same except for you have a relevant ability. Hmm. Awkward times. Let's see. Those two other Abrupt Decays would have made this really easy. I could have brought in the Teague, the two Abrupt Decays, and then just gone to town on this guy, but unfortunately I did not. Um... I think I will bring in one Thalia, just to have that 60th card. Thinking about it now, it probably should have been the Timely Reinforcement. Eh, not really a big deal, I don't think. We'll find out. I mean, it's one card, our chances of drawing it are pretty low, but if we do draw it, we want it the Thalia quick, whereas the Timely we, we just kind of want. I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, I know it looks weird, but... I get to first turn Thoughtseize and waste him, which I'm assuming that he's going to be playing something. Fetch, yep. The question is, does he have the days? Because if he doesn't have the days, then things could become interesting. A Delver, alright. Do we have an answer to that Delver yet? What are we going to get rid of? You don't have anything to do on my upkeep. I don't like having random stops in. Uh, wow, all three wastelands. So we know that his his mana supply is going to be dwindled. Uh, pretty much irrelevant, let's just say it that way. Go ahead and cast that. I'm going to get rid of one of the fetch lands. I'm going to get rid of this one. And go. What am I looking at fighting over here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. So we're going to take the lightning bolt. We'll save ourselves one damage that he now doesn't have to do. He's got a lot of lands. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's got a lot of lands in hand. So That actually is the worst card that he could have drawn. That creates a problem with this fetch land. So, yeah. Let's see. A swords would be awesome. That'll work. Um, I'm going to play Wasteland of my own. And then next turn we'll go for the Pulse. So we'll end up taking 7 damage off of this. Alright. Yep, yep. Not another creature, a ponder. Okay, a ponder's better than a brainstorm. He had a lot of lands. Uh, let's go back up and take a look. His hand was Misty, Volcanic Scalding Tarn, and Wasteland are what he still has. Okay. So we do this. Stoneforge Mystic. That's kind of an awesome draw. I think that we go this route, though. Green and black. And we hope that he didn't draw a counterspell of some type. He did not. Alright. Next turn we can shoot at this. Guess he liked those cards on the top of his deck. I don't really like having this land out right now. But knowing that he's still got two lands in hand. And one of them's a wasteland. And the other one's another fetch. That, that kind of brings a little bit of happiness to my heart. I don't know how else to say that. Um, 
joy. There we go. It makes me feel a little bit happier to know that that's the situation. Uh, kind of wish that I kept the flats as opposed to this. Right now I could fetch basic swamp. All right, there's a brainstorm. Figures. It was coming eventually. All right. But he still has to find something. Gonna waste me? Alright, yep, he's gonna waste me. Alright. And. I'm gonna do something weird. Let's pop that. Let's go with Stoneforge. No. Cancel. There. I'm going to let him go ahead and use this waste. Or this stifle. If he gets a green land, I'm going to blow that up. This forces him, if he wants to stifle it, yeah. If he wanted to stifle, he would have had to have gone and done that. Um, now it puts him in an awkward situation where he's got those lands in hand, but if he doesn't want me to get the batter skull, he, yeah, he needs removal, as well as... Uh, don't be the days. Don't be the days. I can pay for that, but... Alright, so we'll cut him back down to size. Alright, so he shuffled away. I'm pretty sure because of the, what he did that he did not keep a land in hand. So we're going to hope that this is enough and that we draw some stuff. Yeah. That'll teach you. There's a Bayou. Not exactly the card that I really want, but... I mean, we actually have three drops and things that we can do at four, so... There's even a five drop, which is why I keep playing lands. You've got to find a land. Thalia would be awesome right now. Uh, that is a creature. So I will be fetching for it. We can cast Sigarda next turn if we find her. Uh, we don't care about his beginning of combat. Here's Teague. That'll shut down the uh, submerge. There's also another creature. Submerge and Force Will are now dead. We've got a semi-decent clock. Uh, might as well fetch this before he can... Well, he can't submerge. But he could bolt submerge, and that would suck. I should probably stop playing lands. I mean, he could play something really weird like Price of Progress or something. That'd be awkward. Can't play Cave-In. That's the important one. I'm assuming that you have a Nimble Mongoose, my friend. I can't Zenith at this point, but that's something that we'll have to deal with. Uh, Sigarda's still good. Batter Skull's not good. Delver of Secrets, yeah, that's kind of... Hmm. Let's see if he's willing to trade. I don't think he will be. I'd rather take one and have him start bolting and doing other things. That's a goif, and I'm pretty sure he has one of those. Two lands blows. Yep. There it is. Alright, so there's a Swords, though. What can I do with that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could Swords my own Teague? No, that seems dumb. Or do we Swords this thing? And then we chump that twice. He's got to have a slew of creatures, I mean... Hmm. And there's so many forests out here. I'm pretty sure he's got to submerge as well. Right now, we're not winning the race either way. And I'm pretty sure he's got a handful of creatures. If I hit him for two, he ends up at 12 at the end of this turn. Um, or I can take this and I live a little bit longer. I'm going to go this route. Alright. So we're going to let the Goyf stall the ground. I'm going to chump it. 
hope to draw some way to deal with this. Uh, we're hoping. Night would be awesome. Ah, that blows. It was kind of expected, but... Three... Four... Okay. You know what? I should have done this for two. The reason... Oh, he's letting me go for it. I'm pretty sure he's got something. Yeah. Strangle Root Geist would have bought in some time. Um... A submerge wins this for him right now. Which I'm sure he's looking for. Uh, if we get two turns, we're not going to fetch this turn. A wasteland. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. The goose is loose. I'd like to be able to knock that out. All of my wastelands are in the yard. Uh, but the bog is not. The bog is still in the deck, so... That's a thing. We need to take this out and this out, but we can't, so... We'll deal with them accordingly. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Surprise! Submerge. Yeah, that'll do it. That's game. No, that's game. I understand that. Alright, so we'd have drawn the knight, and we'd have hit the pulse the next turn. The bog, the thalia. Yeah, we'd have been golden. If we needed one more turn, one more turn allows us to pulse the knight. Uh, we would have been able to fetch out the maze of ith, which would have changed the bog draws and everything else. But the maze would have allowed us to swing in. Uh, well, actually, when we pulsed that, we would have been allowed to swing in for the win anyway, so we'd have had to block that. We'd have ended up with the bog, which would have taken out his yard. Yeah, that's all right. Things happen. That's the way it rolls sometimes. All right. Our 16-player tournament. There we go. All right. I will see you all in a little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, we're going to try and... Yeah, we'll, we'll try and do some other stuff.